London State Modern has unveiled a major new commission on 12th of October which combines cutting-edge technology with art. The installation, called In Love with the World, designed by Annika Yi, uses an autonomous intelligent system to create a floating ecosystem about the heads of gallery visitors. This year, Annika Yi has transformed the turban hall into a new ecosystem. So once there were the big machines here, the turbines in the industrial age, now there are these sort of somewhat futuristic biological machines here. They're called aerobes, uh, xenojellies, the one with the tentacles, uh, planulae, the ones that look more like uh, blobs. And they move around the space guided by an artificial life system, so they are autonomous. They're not being controlled by people. Humans are neither master to them, nor are they slave to them. It's an encounter of uh, kinds. The gallery visitors will get a glimpse of the art till 22nd January 2022. The aerobes emerge from behind a grey wall which they use to recharge their batteries. Once fully powered, they rise up and float out into the gallery, propelled on their journey by small rotors. In the course of the pandemic, so all the things that happened over the past 18 months, many of the topics that Annika raises have taken on a whole new meaning. So questions like the politics of air, that we all breathe the same air together and what happens then, the fact that we are largely unaware to most life, bacteria life, fungal life, uh, that we carry it within us, that we're made up out of it, that nature communicates in ways that we find uh, odd or would have thought is a bit woolly, um, and to combine all of that with state-of-the-art technology. The aerobes give off sense. Spices, marine smells, coal, connecting them with the history of the location and also emit gentle noises if you listen carefully. The machines react to various stimuli in the hall, making their behavior almost impossible to predict and change themselves according to what is happening beneath them. The artist likes to explore how biology and technology can merge and she wants viewers to question how machines could evolve to become independent forms of life. So the aerobes are guided by uh, scent. Their behavior depends on what the hole smells of um, on any particular day, but they're also guided by warmth, so where visitors go and how much they move around. So there's a correlation that people seem to congregate and then the aerobes congregate with them, but it's also worthwhile sometimes to try and spread out and see what happens then. Thank you.